Yeah, because I had him over here acting like he's the GM of the Lions, talking out of his ass entirely. We got to welcome the real expert, Dose of Dion. You've probably seen him on YouTube. The guy kills it. Welcome to the show, Dion. Hey, what's going on, guys? Can you guys hear me? Can't hear him, Alex. You can't hear me? Okay, well, there we go. Now no, I got you. Good. You good? You good? Look, look, yeah, at, we good. look at that background. Okay, Dude. Dion. <laughs> Take down that fucking Stafford jersey. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dude, I, I can't do it. Where do you live? I can't I'm, do coming it. Right, I'm coming over right now. <laughs> I at least I gotta get the golf first before I do that. Once I get the golf jersey, I can at least move it. But I don't know Dude, if I can take golf it. Golf is more accomplished than Stafford. He, he's already done more for <laughs> Detroit. Right, we're not here to discuss Let's Stafford. Stafford. We're here I'm to just trying to look out for the guy. Leave him alone. I'm trying to look out for the guy. The guy's joining us oh. out of the kindness of his heart. You start off with take down your fucking Stafford jersey. That's not how we're gonna do things, man. It's a beautiful jersey back yeah. there, Dion. Let Thank everybody you. know where Thank you are from, though, so Adam could come and take that off of your wall. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm from Ohio. I'm uh, I'm in Fremont, Ohio. So uh, yeah, about an hour and a half away from from Detroit. You know, anytime we get a fan of the Detroit Lions that doesn't even live here, we love them. And you're here ripping on him, Adam. Hey, I love him too, but I, I don't like the jersey. I, I love the guy. I just hate what's behind him. Focus on the other stuff that's behind him. All right, him. fine. I'll focus on him. What do you think of Joey's pick when he took Parsons at seven in the mock draft we're doing? How do you feel about that? I'm I'm a I'm a very high on Micah Parsons. Like not a lot of people are. I love me some Micah Parsons. Uh, I've done a lot of watching his film and things like that. It's only the off the field things that really concern me with Micah Parsons, and if that's gonna check the box for the Detroit Lions. If it was purely talent alone, and I had to take a guy like Micah Parsons, I would have no issue with it. I'm not sure how much the Lions are gonna value the linebacker position uh, in this year's draft, but I do know that you know we don't really have a lot of core pieces there, and Jamie Collins is getting older. But I'm a big Micah Parsons fan. He always gets knocks for his coverage. I, I think he can cover. I think he's slightly limited when you compare him to some other linebackers in this class. But with his size, his ability to drop into zone, I love him as a pass rusher as well. I mean, that guy can get after the quarterback. Running backs can't take him on. Tight ends can't keep up with him. And then, of course, he's just a missile as a run stopper. So I think with Chris Spielman in the building, I love him as a talent. But the off-the-field things, I think, could you know keep the lines away. So we heard the rumor about the Lions trying to trade up to that number four spots to go after Jamar Chase. If Chase isn't available, what are you thinking? Are you thinking they're still going to go wide receiver at seven? Oh, man, dude, th this is so tough. Right? This, this is so tough for me to predict. I try to do these predictive mock drafts, and I have no idea. I just keep changing up different picks. I don't know where they're going at this point. I, I feel like they won't go receiver at seven if they're stuck at seven. I think if they had a trade back opportunity and, Jay, and Chase is not there, then they could go receiver. I don't think they'll do it at number seven, though. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards the tackle side a little bit more. If I had to predict, that's kind of where I'm thinking they're going to end up going. But Hopefully. I think if Chase is there, it seems like it's going to be Chase. And that's the thing. I mean, we got Jerry Goff now locked in two years. So why not invest in him and actually protect him? Just that's, to see. Just to see. Because if we don't give him that fair opportunity, then what was the point of all of this? Well, those, well, those I mean, first those round picks. picks. I get it. Get it, get it get rid it. of a loser. Let's not too. give up entirely on this season. No. Uh, well, the team's in a rebuild. It's not giving up on the season. Uh, if Chase, again, like you said, if Chase is available at seven, which is very unlikely, you snag him and you just run. <laughs> and you don't ask questions. Having said that, based on most mock drafts, one through three are going to be quarterbacks. We can all agree on that, I think. So... I have two quarterbacks most likely going to be on the board at the number seven pick, which means the Lions are going to have a lot of trade partners, whether it's Denver, whether it's New England. So I think the trade back option is probably the best option for them. And if they want to go back to 15 with New England and they want to take a Waddle or a Devontae Smith, then I'm probably okay with that. But then again, you could get a Mika Parsons at 15, like we said earlier. So we'll see what happens. So what's your plan for the draft party, man, in Ohio? Are you driving to Cleveland, or what are you doing? <laughs> Even better. Stick telling what you're doing today, Dion. Yeah, I'm coming up. I'm coming up to Detroit. Uh, oh, to oh no one. shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm coming up there. We actually had – we were going to go to the draft first, uh, but then I got hit up by my Joey, Joey, and I was like, yeah, that's too awesome. I'm like, I got to do that. That's that's way better. I told my dad about it, and he's just been – so excited for a sense. I was like, yeah, that's that's a crazy awesome opportunity. So we're definitely doing that. We'll we'll uh we'll probably hit up the, the draft next year when it's in Vegas. Yeah, that's hell yeah, man. <laughs> we should all hit up the draft next year when it's in Vegas. And that's what I love about Dion. It's like you, I was talking to him yesterday and finding out like why he is a Detroit Lions fan. Because honestly, I just wanted to know why are you a Detroit Lions fan not even living here? Because when you're born here, unfortunately, you're stuck loving these bad teams. But you being out in Ohio, your dad is the reason why you are a Lions fan. Tell us about that. Yeah, he, he's always he's always telling me he apologizes that he did this. Uh, 
<laughs> but no, I mean, yeah, I've been a, I've been a fan since I grew up. I I guess his story is he had like a sticker on a desk that was a Lions sticker, so he was a Lions fan since then. And uh, yeah, he made me his brothers into Lions fan. Well, at least one of them. So uh, so that that's me now. I've been a Lions fan. You know, I grew up a Lions fan. I have like uh, some old jerseys. You know, you got the Harringtons, things like that. Uh, but no, I I love it, man. I mean, it just it's been rough. But I feel like, you know, we get the benefit of when we do have a good season. It's It always feels better. You know, like you get a playoff year. Like, that's such a great year. Some people just take that stuff for granted. But we get a we get a playoff year, man. I'm, I'm on top of the world. So I love it. That's so good, man. It's it's nice to see other fans out there that are uh, tortured and weaned into this just like we all are. Because, you know, that we're all fans of the Lions. And you try to explain it to people. They just don't understand why. And you're like, listen, it's just in my blood. My dad taught it to me. And, you know, Sundays are Lions football days. And that's it. Thanksgiving is Lions football. And that's it. It's all I've ever known. Yep. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, we, we, try, to, we try to go up every year. Of course, last year we couldn't go because of COVID. We try to go to games every year. But... I mean, yeah, Sunday, man, we're, we're all over it. I mean, it's we, – we're here early. You know, I'm doing my pregames. He comes in early. Sometimes people come over with him. I, we used to do it, obviously, at our house, but then we came over here and started watching him. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's awesome. I, I love it. It's 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 my favorite day of the week. I just love doing the Lions stuff. I don't know what it is, man. I'm just addicted to this stuff. Hell, yeah. Well, it's going to be awesome to have you at the draft party today, man. You're going to have to hop on our live stream a couple times and go over some picks with us because we're, we're going to be there through the whole first round, and we'll have a mic open for you. So whenever you want to pop on, man, let us know. And there's his name right there, too, Dose of Dion 2.0. Make sure you follow him and subscribe on his YouTube channel because this kid's talented. Heck, yeah. And, and that's what we're trying to do here, man, just create an awesome sports community for all Detroit sports fans. And, you know, it's all on social media. It's all digital. And we're all here to support each other. So thank you for coming on this morning, man. I'll see you tonight. Yeah, thank you, guys, man. This was awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah, bring that jersey and throw it right now in his face when you see him tonight. <laughs> bring the Joey Harrington jersey. I won't, I won't kill you oh, as much. He's going to wear it. Adam's going to stab I'll you wear. when you walk in. Why are you going to wear it? Why are you just going to ruin the whole vibe of the draft party? I mean, come on. Oh, that's awesome. 8 and 67, Dion. Come on, man. <laughs> Thank you, Dawson uh, Dion, man. Appreciate you.